check. Stop recording. Check box check. Appear check mark. Press space bar. Hello, everyone. This is Vol for Life eight six five seven, and I am actually uh, recording this before uploading to YouTube. And I know it's been a while since I have addressed my YouTube subscribers. I am now at one hundred. I want to thank those who got me to that lovely little milestone. Uh, I want to thank you all for sticking with me through the uh, through the times of drought and doubt, if I can throw that out there. And uh, we will continue to stream. I will continue to stream and to upload material to the website. Um, as far as streaming live, that is a different matter altogether. Um, it's something that can be done, but I prefer to stream live on Twitch. If you uh, wish to follow me for the live streams, you may do so at twitch.tv slash vol, the number four, Life8657. Again, that is twitch.tv slash VOL, the number four, Life8657. Um, now that we've got that out of the way, um, I want to thank Declan Webster for this idea because when I loaded up my YouTube TV app on my Chromecast, he did a Eurofly sort of an update. Well, this isn't really an update because I don't have anything new to report on it. Is sort of a testimonial type deal. It's kind of how I got introduced into the uh, into the flight sim community, and um, this is for all those who say that it's fake and worthless and everything. Um, pay close attention because this. I will try to keep this short, um, but who knows what will happen here? So, about three and a half. Four years ago. It's probably about four years ago. Maybe even, yeah, around four years. Well, we'll say five because that's when I first started looking into Flight Sim. There was a program called It's Your Plane. And back when I was married, I really, really wanted it. But I was going to have to pay for the flight sim software, which back then came on disk. There was no, uh, to the best of my knowledge, there was no Steam copy. Steam was nowhere near as accessible as it is now. Although it's still not very accessible, but that's neither here nor there. And I'd have to buy the program, it's your plane, and do all this heavy configuring. And I, it was kind of intimidating. It wasn't stuff that I could not have done. But with the way that things were back then, I was not going to be able to take advantage of the fact that this program was available. And this program was the voice control for flight sim. It controlled everything about your plane. It assisted you with landings. It did checklists and takeoffs and everything. Sadly, by the time I was really able to partake in flight simulation, It's Your Plane was gone. At that particular time, there were no other options that I was aware of that was doable. And then I stumbled. I, I'd played 3D Velocity. Um, there are streams of it on my... There are videos of that, of, of me playing it on my YouTube channel. I had played a game called was out of sight or uh, it was a $19.95 flight uh, sent sort of flight simulator um, which unfortunately I lost um, I, I, I dabbled with things but then I came across Eurofly and back then it was Eurofly 1 and I couldn't figure it out and I was just like you know what this is terrible so I put it away and I was Honestly, I was bored one day and um, went to the website and found a Eurofly 2, started reading up on it, and found some very nice tutorials done by one Sarah Alawami. And I was like, you know, I could possibly do this. It took me three days to get off the ground. It took me another week to learn how to land. And landing in Eurofly is not that hard once you've done it a couple of times. 
It's really not. Um, so I started working my way through the tasks, and I remember sitting down with Amber, and I was like, Amber, I'm going to take the king from Rome, and i got to fly him to some other place. It was the Pope. I was like, I, gotta, I, gotta, I, I, I get to carry the Pope with me on this flight, and i got to fly him from Rome. I think it was to Germany or something like that. I don't remember where it was. Well, something happened. I'm not really sure what. And we crashed. And <laughs> my reaction to that was, and I remember getting her attention. I was like, Amber was in this really solemn voice. And I'm like, I have some really bad news. And she's like, what's wrong? I said, I've killed the Pope. And in the simulator, that's exactly what I did. <laughs> um, not... I'm I'm not proud of it. I'm 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 not proud of it, but I had to learn the hard way. You know, and the only thing I had for the most part was, you know, was Stefan's guide. And once I got more comfortable, people started giving me little tidbits of, you know, advice and information, but you know, it it, it really took just practice and practice and practice to get there. Well, after a while, I wanted to dive into the 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 more advanced realms of flight simulation and I got uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator Steam Edition and FSX Pilot because there was no tramp there was no uh, you know FSX Pilot was the way to go and the only ATC that we had was uh, the Microsoft ATC it was a nightmare, and I have videos of me trying to fly from Knoxville to Houston using ATC, and it's using their ATC, and it's a mid, it's an unmitigated failure. And I got frustrated, and for the next year, I didn't mess with it. I didn't touch it. Until finally one day, I got bored again. I played Eurofly some more got to the rank of, uh, uh, you know, the, the highest rank that you could get, the inspector. I was like, wow, I, I, I managed to do the, all, all of this and wanted to try again. Well, it turns out every, most of everybody was using a new simulator, so I purchased that simulator. And I just want to say to anybody who's thinking about it, if you are not willing to invest time, money, and patience. TMP, if you are not willing to invest that, you're going to be hurting and you will be frustrated. I am in ways, I am in no way an expert on this stuff. I am just now to the point where I've done a couple of successful VATSIM flights. I'm not an expert. I know that most, and, and I'll say this when I first got into it, I blew up the, I blew up the VBI pilots email list, and when we got on WhatsApp, I blew them up quite often with questions that I know to them, and I even warned them of this. I said I'm going to ask you questions that seem obvious to you, but they're not going to be obvious to me, and I know. Deep down inside, they got really frustrated with me. Um, because not only was I asking very obvious questions to them, but I also had situations and problems occur that has never happened to any of them. And, huh? Yes, I still do. Uh, thank you, love, for pointing that out. I still do. I think part of that is that godforsaken pavilion computer. I mean, um... Yes, that's I, I, you know I almost don't want to get an HP because of what it does to the tramp window, but that's neither here nor there either. Um, you know I I fought through a lot of complications when I first started. There was no TFM, there was no ideal flight with speech access, so you had no way to know what you were doing. You had no way to know if you were landing properly. You had no way to know if you were going to get the ILS. Well, then that technology over a year ago slowly started to develop and I will 
second Declan on this. We are at a point where flight simulation is enjoyable. Is it where we want it to be yet? No. Is it going to get there? I think it will. I think sometime this year we're going to see that breakthrough. It is 2021. The year is still young. We're not even through January yet. I think we're going to get there. Um, I, I struggle with it still, but not for the simulation, but for other difficulties that are on my, uh, beyond my control. But I've, it's grown from a, from an impossibility to a maybe to a, I love doing this. I really do. I stream flights, or at least I try to stream flights every Wednesday on my Twitch stream. But it was because of Eurofly. Eurofake, some call it. It was because of Eurofly that got me going, this is cool. I like this. Is there something else out there that's more realistic? Um, I'm excited for Eurofly 3. I want to see it. I want to test it. I want to play with it. I want to... I'll probably stream with it when I look at it. I'm, I'm going to have some fun with it. Do I fly it now? Not really. Could I? Easily. But don't... You know, don't knock it. It's how a lot of us got our start. And for those of us who never had It's Your Plane... You know, it's it's all we had back then. It, it's practically all we had back then, unless you were really willing to jump through some hurdles. And I almost gave up countless times. As a matter of fact, there was at one point in time I took a three month break from it because I just fr you know mishap after mishap, crash after crash, uh, uh, you know, bad landing after bad landing, and eventually I I. I had flight contrimmer, uh, flight contrimmers. What? Flight controllers on VATSIM yelling at me. Um, it's, it's hard, but it's something that I can do. I'm not an expert, as I've said before. You want the experts? You talk to Josh or Declan or, or, uh, or Andy or or Jason Fair or. Marshall or, you know, any of these others, who <laughs> they've done it way longer than I have, but I enjoy it. I really do. And just one more note before I go, Declan, I looked at most of what you had to say and decided, you know, I'm going to go look through my channel and my first ever Twitch stream, my first ever Twitch stream. This was back when I had Mixer and Twitch, when Mixer was still a thing. Was a Eurofly flight. A Eurofly flight from Nashville to Louisiana. I went from maybe three or four subscribers back then to now having a hundred. And it's been a long journey and we're not done yet. But I want to, I just, again, I want to thank all of you for that. You've stuck with me through it all. And there's going to be some more exciting stuff to come in 2021. I just know it. So stay tuned. Uh, have you, have yourselves a happy new year. And who knows, maybe, maybe in a few days I may attempt another flight again. And if it manages to behave successfully, I will post it here. Until then, God bless. This is Ball for Life 8657, signing off. Stop recording, check out.